It's marfu. If I say dun, it's mansu. If I say din, it's majru. If I say dun, it's marfu. If I say dun, it's mansu. If I say din, it's majru. So, dun 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 din din, 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 dun 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 din din. One more time. If I say dun. It's marfu. If I say dun, it's mansu. If I say din, it's majru. So dun 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 din din, dun 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 din din, dun 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 din din, dun 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 din din. I hope you will remember it. Thank you. All these things. And if you don't remember, what will you do then? You will be singing. What will you be singing? Hawa me urta jaye, mera fiel or mera fail. Hoji, hoji. All these will fly over you. Huh? The file will fly, the fiel will fly. Okay, ready? हवा में उड़ता जाए मेरा फेल और मेरा फाइल हो जी हो जी इधर उधर लहराए मेरा मुदाफ मुदाफ ले ही इधर उधर लहराए मेरा मुदाफ और मुदाफ ले ही हो जी हो जी दिस यू विल बी सिंगिंग दें बट वी डोंट वांट यू टू सिंग दिस ब्रदर इन्शाल्लाह जज़ाकुम अल्लाह Salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in Amma ba'd fa'awdhu billahi minash shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim 
رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي ربي زدني علما اجمعين ان شاء الله مي الله سبحانه وتعالى انكريز ان اول اوف اس نوليدج السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته حرف جر ما شاء الله loudly ha harf char ism majroor so that will inshallah uh, be part of our memory inshallah but and sisters we do our drill ready ha huh? all of us together huwa huma hum hiya huma hunna anta antuma antum anti antuma antunna ana nahnu huwa huma hum هي هما هن انت انتما انتم انت انتما انتن انا نحن لاست تايم هو هما هم هي هما هن انت انتما انتم انت انتما انتن انا نحن ما شاء الله now brother we come to zahaba we'll try to conjugate in sequence in the sequence of pronoun Huh? In the sequence of pronouns. Ready? Zahaba, zahaba, zahabu, zahabat, zahabata, zahabna, zahabta, zahabtuma, zahabtum, zahabti, zahabtuma, zahabtunna, zahabtu, zahabna. Mashaal. When you do in sequence, every word will become easy. Then. Now we have to think quickly when we come across uh, a noun. Then we have to figure out what form of word is appropriate for it. For example, huwa zahaba, hiya zahaba. Fine. Muhammadun zahaba, Aminatu zahaba, Atulabu zahabu. هم ذهبوا الاولاد ذهبوا ها ان شاء الله الطالبات ريمبر بات ها الطالبات ذهبنا النساء ذهبنا ها اوكي الامهات ذهبنا الاب ذهب الام ذهب اوكي انا ذهبت انا ذهبت نحن ذهبنا انت انت ذهبت ذهبت انت ذهبت ها اوكي ان انتما ذهبتم انتما ذهبتما انتم ذهبتم ها انتن ذهبتن got the idea انا ذهبت انا ذهبت and then we'll be asking you questions and you'll be answering you know hal zahabta ila suq al yawm what is the translation did you go to the market today hal zahabta ila suq al yawm naam zahabtu hal zahabti ila ila al masjid al yawm naam zahabtu see your answer is i went So you will say zahab to are you with me? Hal zahabta ila suq al yawm ya hasan? Zahab to. Hal zahabti ila al masjid al yawm yawm ya faira? Yeah. You follow? That's the way we'll practice inshallah. See later on we should be very comfortable with using of the verb form to the proper subject inshallah okay next one brother kharaja 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 kharaju kharajat kharajata kharajna kharashta kharashtuma kharashtum kharashti kharashtuma kharashtunna kharashtu kharajna ana kharashtu nahnu kharajna huwa خرج محمد خرج علي خرج 
According to the pronoun, or noun, we will use, <coughs> according to the, you know, noun, we will use the proper word form. Okay, brothers and sisters? Nahnu kharajna. Antun kharashtu. Ana kharashtu. Anta kharashta. Anti kharashti. Only in third person we will be using a talib, a tullab, al mudarris, al mudarrisuna, al awlat, al waladu. Only in third person. Otherwise, in rest of the thing, it will be anta, anti, antuma, ana, nahn. Inshallah. Come to jalasa, brother. Jalasa, jalasa, jalasu, jalasat. Jalasata, Jalasna, Jalasta, Jalastuma, Jalastum, Jalasti, Jalastuma, Jalastunna, Jalastu, Jalasna. Al Waladu, Jalasa. Al Bintu, Jalasa. Masha. Al Auladu, Jalasu. At Tullabu, Jalasu. Al Mudarisuna Jalasu. Al Mudarisu Jalasa. Al Mudarisatu Jalasat. Al Mudarisatu Jalasat. Al Mudarisatu Jalasat. Al Mudarisatu Jalasat. Al Mudarisatu Jalasna. See, if you make mistake, it's normal. Don't worry. But later on, brothers and sisters, you are going to get strong and perfect. You won't make mistakes, inshallah. Huh? So do not uh, uh, get uh, nervous or gabrified if you make a mistake. It's okay. We are going to learn from our mistakes. Okay, brothers and sisters? Ana jalastu. Nahnu jalasna. Anta jalasta. Anti jalasti. Okay, well. Again, one more time. Atalibu jalasa. At-tullabu jalasu. Al-mudarrisuna jalasu. Al-mudarrisuna jalasu. Al-mudarrisu jalasa. Al-mudarrisatu jalasat. Al-mudarrisatu jalasna. Because these plurals are still new to us, it takes a little time, but inshallah it will work out fine. Raja. Uh, and we are going to talk about all these things in a sentence. In a day or two, I'll be asking you a sentence and you'll be replying. Inshallah. Raja to return. Raja. 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 Raja tuma, Raja tunna, Raja tu, Raja na. Fine, brother. <coughs> Hamidun, Raja. Khadija tu, Raja at. Fatima tu, Raja at. Ali, Raja. Atullabu, Raja u. Atalibatu, Raja na. Al Mudari Suna Raja U. Al Mudari Su Raja A. Al Mudari Satu Raja At. Al Mudari Satu Raja Anta Raja Anti Ana Raja Nahnu Raja Antum Raja Inshallah. It's but this is all fun. What we are doing? We are playing game now. Alhamdulillah. Now we come to kataba. Huh? Kataba, kataba, katabu, katabat, katabata, katabna, katabta, kataptuma, kataptum, katapti, kataptuma, kataptunna, kataptu, katabna. Ana, kataptu. Anta, katapta. Anti, katapti. Nahnu, katabna. 
מוחמדון כתבה, האמינתו כתבת, אלמודריסו כתבה, אלמודריסונה כתבו, אלמודריסתו כתבת, אלמודריסתו כתבנה, אנתום כתבתו, נחנו כתבנה. אלחמדוללה, it's getting there. פאהימה, he understood, huh? Brothers and sisters, <coughs> as I said to you, uh, it is very important to understand that the meaning of Fahima is he understood. But when you go to dictionary, it will say to understand. So that should not put you off. Because the root form of the verb, brothers and sisters, there are four things which are extremely you know, important to remember. In the the base form of the verb. I sometimes say base form, sometimes I say root form, huh? okay? Which means the first form of the verb, which is hua. All the verbs will start with a hua, okay? He did something, okay? Not she, not they, but he. So in other words, the base form of the verb is past tense. Are you with me? Always past tense. And then it is third person. Are you with me? The base form is past tense, and then it is third person. Maybe I should write it down. Did I explain you before? But maybe I'll write it down. You can also write down. Huh? Four things are in the base or the root form. Huh? Brother, I'll write base form or the root form. Brother. Number one, it is always past tense. Huh? Number two, it is always uh, third person. Hmm? Number three, it is Always singular. And what is the fourth thing, brothers and sisters? It is always masculine. The sequence doesn't matter. No, 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 no. Not really. Just understanding. Uh, understand you can change the sequence. It really doesn't matter. Uh, th this is always the root form of the Arabic word. All the Arabic word. Whether it is the base is three letters, and then we will learn later, later on to make more meanings of the verbs, we add something to it. Uh, okay? And even if it is a six-letter verb, it will still be past tense, third person, singular, and masculine. Uh, okay? Okay. For example, I give you, th this is a verb which comes in the Quran, and it is not normal, but I'll say to you. We are going to learn this in book three. What is the verb, brother? Istafa. What is the meaning of it? It is past tense, third person, masculine and singular. Istafa, if you look into the dictionary, it will say to choose. What will say, the dictionary will say? To choose. To choose. But actually, he chose. Huh? He chose. Okay? So, this is how it works, brothers and sisters. Now, this is, I, 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 I did not write a three-letter word, but I wrote a different kind of word. But the, just to emphasize the meaning. So, in a, when you say Fahima, he understood. Afiza, he memorized. Got the idea? Always those four things will be there in the base form. Okay, brothers and sisters, now we say Fahima quickly. Fahima, Fahima, Fahimu, Fahimat, Fahimata, Fahimna, Fahimta, Fahimtuma, Fahimtum, Fahimti, Fahimtum, Tuma, Fahimtunna, Fahimtu, Fahimna. Are you with me, brother? 
محمدن فہیمہ آمینت فہیمت الاولاد فہیم الطلاب فہیمت الطالبت فہیمت الطالبت الطالبات فہیمنا انا نحن فہیمنا انت فہیمتا انت فہیمتی انتم فہیمتم انشاءاللہ now we do the last one Hafiza 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 Hafizu Hafizat Hafizata Hafizna Hafista Hafistuma Hafistum Hafisti Hafistuma Hafistunna Hafistu Hafizna Okay, brother? Hamidun Hafiza Zainabu Hafizat Attullabu Hafizu Atalibatu Talibatu Hafizna Annisau Hafizna Anta Anti Nahnu Hafizna Antum Hafiztu Ana Hafiztu Got the idea? Inshallah We stop here Inshallah Now we go to uh, the section brothers and sisters and we are learning here now haulai and as you know haulai is also ismu shara ismu shara is a pronoun all pronouns are definite huh? okay brothers and sisters if a noun comes after ismu shara and if it is definite then it becomes the badal huh? inshallah we'll remember that man haulai fatayatu ya maryam who are these young ladies, O Maryam? Okay. So, brother, question marks we don't analyze. But just briefly, Haulai is Ismu Shara. And what will be Al Fatayatu? <coughs> Badal. Huh? Inshallah. Hunna. <coughs> Hunna Damilati. What is Hunna, brother? Bhutada. And where is our khabar? Zamilatu. See, Zamilati, how many words are there? Two words. Mudaf, mudafilehi. Sahi? So, our khabar is going to be Zamilatu, wa huwa mudaf, and ya mutakallim, mudafilehi. Very good, brother. Akhwatu hunna, are the sisters? Naam, hunna, akhwatun. So, what is hunna, brother? Hunna is your mubtada. Akhwatun is your khabar. Man abu hunna. Watch at the spelling of abu. Wow has come. Why? Because it became mudaf. There are five nouns in Arabic language. They have their own spelling rules. Their spelling rules become very, you know, different when they come as a mudaf. We are learning here Abu and Akhu. So when Abu and Akhu become uh, Mudaf, uh, and if they are Marfu, they get Vaw. Are you with me? They get Vaw. Okay? So Abu Hunna is with Vaw. Abu is with Vaw. Huh? So Abu Hunna is Mudaf, Mudaf ilahi. Okay? Man Abu Hunna. Who is their father? What is the answer? Abu Hunna. Abu Hunna Mudaf Mudafili. But first and foremost, what is Abu? Mubtada. Wahua Mudaf. And then Mudafili. Fine. Abu Hunna Ashaykhu. Their father is the Sheikh. Fine. Sheikh is Khabar. Sometimes the Khabar can be definite. And in this case, it is definite. Normally, it is most of the time indefinite. Hmm? Now comes Bilalun. Is Bilalun definite or indefinite? Definite. Why? Because it is a proper noun. Huh? It is definite because it is a proper noun. So what do you call now Bilalun? Badal. Badal huh? So Badal can come in this form also. It will be very easy to recognize. Inshallah. You will have... No difficulty, inshallah. 
Ummuhunna, again, Ummuhunna, how many words? Two. What are they? Mudaf, Mudafili. So what will you call the first word? Ummu, Mutada. Wa huwa? Mudaf. And then Mudafili. This is the way we will approach our analysis, you know. Ustazati, how many words are there? Two. Two. What is the combination? Mudaf, Mudafili, yeah? Uh, if I ask you what kind of a murakab is, what kind of a combination is, uh, we will say mudaf mudaf ilahi, or we will say nat manut, or you will say jar majroor. Huh? Or you will say zarf and mudaf ilahi. These are the combination we will try to figure out. And that will facilitate our understanding and our analysis. Hmm? So where is the khabar? Ustaza tu. Tu. Because T only became of the Yamata Kalam. Khabar is always marfu. So it is Ustaza tu. Okay. Remember, brother, if the khabar is one word, it is always marfu. Marfu. Okay. So if you say Ustaza is one word, Ustaza, then it is Ustaza tu. Aina baitu hunna. Baituhunna, how many words? What is the combination? Mudaf mudafili. Where is their home? What is the answer? Baituhunna. Again, two words. So, what is the first word? Baitu? Muptada. But before Muptada, I will say Muptada, and then I will say. So, Baituhunna, brothers and sisters, there are two words. The first word, Baitu, is our Muptada, Wahua Mudaf. And then mudaf ilahi. Karta idea, inshallah. Karibun khabar. Minal madrasati char majlul. Inshallah. Okay, but Now, next exercise, brothers and sisters, is how will muptada. Change the muptada into jama. Okay? So, what is, uh, what is muptada hazihi? Now, change it into jama. It will be haulai. Then the then the khabar has to be also in chama. Okay. We have an example. So what will be the number one? Hadihi talibatun. Haulai. Haulai talibatun. What is talibatun? Jama monas salim. Sound feminine plural. Again I say. Sound feminine Plural. Huh? Okay. Hadhi What will you say? Haulai mudarisa tun. Remember, still marfu. Unless something comes in front of it, it will remain marfu. Okay. Hadhi tabibatun. Haulai tabibatun. What is that khabar? Hadhi muslimatun. Aulai muslimatun. Very good. Hadhi zawjatun. Aulai zawjatun. Okay. Hadhi ukhtun. Aulai akhawatun. Okay. Hadhi fatatun. Aulai fatayatun. Okay. Hadhi jadidatun. Aulai jududun. Jududun. Ha ulai jududun. Are you with me? Ha ulai jududun. Now remember, brother, jududun is applicable in both masculine form and feminine form. So we have to just remember, brother. Ha dihi kabiratun. Ha ulai kibarun. Again, the same for masculine and same for feminine. All of the rest. Hadhi sagiratun haulai sigarun. Hadhi tawilatun haulai tiwarun. Masha'Allah. Okay. Ikra waktu. Read and write. I hope you have done it in the weekend. If not, then please write it. Okay. Haulai ikhwati. What is haulai? Bukhtata. How many words are there in ikhwati? Two. Two. What is the combination? Mudaf, mudaf ilay. So, ikhwatu is our khabar, wa huwa mudaf, and then mudaf ilay.
Okay. These are my brothers and these are my sisters. Okay. Man haulail fatayatu. Who are these young ladies? Haulai banatul mudar risati. Haulai banatul mudar mudar risati. Fine brothers and sisters. So banatul mudar risati. What is this? Mudah mudafili. Fine. So haulai is our muktada and our khabar is. Banatu only. Very good. Next one, interesting. Haulai fatayatu. Haulai muptada. What is fatayatu? Badal. Badal. Ah, see, you can easily see that it is badal. It's coming after Ismushara and it is definite now. Zamilati mudaf mudafile. So, zamilatu is your khabar. Hmm? Abu Hunna. What kind of combination is this? Mudaf. So what will be Abu? Mubtada. Wa huwa? Mudaf. And then Hunna Mudaf. Tabibun is your khabar. Wa ummu Hunna. Wow is ataf. Ummu Hunna same. Mudaf Mudaf. Inshallah it should you know, make a, a understanding very clear now. Huh? Once we understand Mudaf Mudaf. Ummu Hunna. Ummu is your uh, Mubtada Mudaf and Hunna Mudaf Lay Mudar Risatun. Fine then. Aina Talibatul Jududu, where are the new students? Now comes our Jumla failure. Huh? What is it now? The Jumla starts with a verb. Zahabna ilal Maktabati. So what is Zahabna? Fail. Where is the file? No. Nah. You will always, 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 when you see a file, we got to have a file. And when the file is attached, as it is in this case, Nunu uh, Niswa is your file. Uh, and you will always, always analyze. Break it apart for our understanding. Uh, okay, I will do it, brother. So when you see something like this, you can say to yourself, where is the fail? Remember, when the hunna comes, the lam kalima gets a sukun. Where did the sukun go to? Lam kalima. Huh? Remember, third radical, always sukun. Okay, so where is the file? This is the way you will always describe. If I say zahabta, so zahab will become your fial and ta will become your file. If I say zahabtu, then sahab is your fial and tu is your file. If I say zahabna, zahab is your fial and na is your file. Always, always we will separate them. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Any verb that comes. In the case of Huwa and here. Uh, file can be mustatir or it can be present in the jumla. Uh, okay. What is the next one, brother? Aina banatuki ya ammati. Where are your daughters, oh my aunt? Okay. Hunna filmatabahi. They are in the kitchen. So, brother, very simple sentence. Hunna, Mubtada. Where is your khabar? Uh, brother and sisters, where is your khabar? Jar majur, shibu jumla, khabar. Okay. Aha ulai mumaridatu muslimatun. Are these nurses Muslims? Naam. Yes. Haulai tabibatun. These are doctors. Muftada khabar. Azwaju hunna. What kind of a combination is this? Mudaf, mudafili. Okay. Mudarisuna. What is mudarisuna, sisters? Khabar. Khabar. 
fine brothers and sisters. Man hadhil mar'atu. Hadhil mar'atu. What kind of a combination is this, Sister Faiza? Hadhil mar'atu. What kind of a combination is this? Hadhil mar'atu. Hadhil mar'atu. Hadhi is mushara. And al mar'atu is bada. Huh? So, not all the time mudaf mudaf ilahi. You got to watch. Huh? If it is ismu ishara, you got to be careful. Huh? With ismu ishara, the noun that is definite is badal. Okay? Fine, brother. Hiya zaujatut tabibil jadidi. Are you with me? Hiya zaujatut tabibi. So, where is our khabar? Zawjatu. Wa huwa mudaf. And tabibi, mudaf ilahi. And then sister Fatima, what is al-jadidi? No, it has come at-tabibi, al-jadidi. At-tabibi, al-jadidi. Nahat, mashu. Got to watch. See, the, the signs are there for us to figure out that it is now nahat. Okay. And remember, Nath follows the Manut. Okay. So here, at Tabibi is Majroor. So the Nath is also Majroor. Al Jadidi. Right? Fine, brother. A Bana Tukha. Fil Madrasatis Sanaviyati. Ya Osama. Are your daughters in the secondary school, Osama? What is the answer? Ba'du hunna. Okay. But Hassan, what is ba'du hunna? Some of them. Some of them. I know that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a combination is that? Uh, huh? There are two nouns. So what kind of a combination is that? Ba'du hunna. When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudaf ilahi. Got the idea? Yeah. So what is it, brother? Mudaf, mudaf ilahi. Huh? Remember this, brother, when the pronoun will join the noun, the result is mudaf, mudaf ilahi. And when the pronoun joins a preposition, jar mashu. And when the pronoun joins zarf, it is zarf. And mudafili. All these things should register well in our mind. And there is a fourth thing, fourth thing coming in the uh, uh, later on in book two. We'll study that, inshallah. So, ba'du hunna fil madrasati. So, where is our muftada, brother? Brother uh, Abdul Samad, where is our muftada? Ba'du only, mashallah. Wa huwa? And then mudafili. Mashallah. And fil madrasati jar majroor shibu jumla khabar and Abdul Samad what is the thanaviyati? Nath, very good. Wa baadu hunna same fil madrasati mutawasitati and some of them are in the middle school. Now the question is we are asking Laila, so you see no vowel signs. So what will be a la ki? A la ki Banatun ya Layla, do you have daughters ya Layla? Naam. Li banatun kebarun. Li banatun kebarun. So brother, what is li here? How many words are there? Two. What kind of a combination is this? Charun wa majrun. Char wa majrun. Okay. And then, brother, banatun. What will you say to the banatun? Mubtada. Huh? And what is kibarun? Nath. Alhamdulillah. Very good. Wahunna and they are Muptada Talibatun. Khabar. Bel Jamiati. Jar Majrur. Very good. Man haula in nisa uttivalu. Okay, who are these tall ladies? Hunna Tabibatun. Min America. Hunna, they are doctors from 
USC. Tabibatun is your khabar. Hunna is your mubtida. Tabibatun. Now see, look at this sentence carefully. Atabibatu. Uh, what shall I call this sentence? Jumla ismiya. Uh, fine. I'll call this Jumla ismiya. Where is the khabar? Jumla failia is your khabar. Brother Salman, Atabibatu. The doctors. Give me the news about the doctor. What is the news? They went out from the hospital. So the khabar is kharajna min al mustashfa. Okay, so what kind of sentence is this? Kharajna. There is a verb here. So this is now verbal sentence. Are you with me? This is now your verbal sentence. So when it is verb, we need our verb and file. So where is our verb? Kharaj. What? No, uh, kharaj. Kharaj is your actual verb. Huh? You can see fa kalima, in kalima, lam kalima. You can see first radical, second radical, third radical. And what extra do you see? The file. What do you see extra? Is your file. Huh? When you say the verb, you don't go back to the uh, original form, they say karaja is your uh, verb. You ask me, where is the file? Um, the fear. Fear. Yeah. Do you not say karaja? No. You know why? Here is something that we must understand. And this is what I go back again. See, when you start your conjugation, okay, you start with huwa, huma, hum, hiya, huma. In those five forms, the verb is kharaja, then again kharaja, and then in hum it becomes kharaju with dhamma, and then here again kharaja, and again huma kharaja. That is your verb. Okay? When you say kharaja, alif is your five. Where is the verb kharaja? But you know when we come to hunna, brother, Abdul Samad, you forgot your agreement with them? Uh, no. What is our agreement? Hunna says when I come and any, everybody who will follow me, they will get a sukun. So the verb change from kharaja to kharaj. Huh? Kharaj. No. No, you will just say kharaj. Huh? See, if I say kharashta, where is the verb? Kharaj. Now why? There are reasons. And I did explain you, but if you forgot, don't worry. Uh, because it is too early in this uh, study to go in that much detail. But when we will go in book 2, and when we will learn nakis verbs, then these things will become very prominent. Huh? And we have to understand and specify. Okay. So here is the rule. In short, if the mutaharrik pronouns join the verb as a file, are you with me? Yes. Then the lam kalma will have a sukun. The, the verb undergoes a change. That's all. Huh? That is the reason. Are you with me? Now, why does it get sukun? Why? It is because the mutaharik pronouns come. Okay. And if there are sakin pronouns, as in kharaju or kharaja, then they are normal. Kharaja, Kharaja, and Kharaju, they are normal. Just keep that in mind. So if you start analyzing, and if you see a pronoun, mutaharik pronoun coming as a file, what is the meaning of mutaharik pronoun? The pronoun which has got a proper vowel sign. The pronoun which comes as a file has a proper vowel sign. And that is why, brother, I would like you to remember this. Huh? From Hunna, we get the file Noon. Are you with me? Now, what happens after that?
You see this, brothers and sisters. I find it very amusing. What is that? Tatumatum ti tumatunna tuna. If you practice, you will memorize it. What is it? Ta tumatum ta tumatum ti tumatunna tuna. I want you to learn to say very fast. Ta tumatum ti tumatunna tuna. Slowly, slowly we'll learn. Now, what is this ta tumatum ti tumatunna tuna? These are the files. Uh, but they are pronouns. Uh, and they are file. And they are marfu. Hmm? Still it is early in our study to go, to, to go through all these things. I am just intro introducing them. We will keep talking about them for a long, long time. But by that time you will become master. So any verb that you do after hunna, where you will put your noon as a file, Sahih brother, mm -hmm. huh? take all the verbs. Start from your hunna. What will you say? Karajna. What will you say? Jalasna. And what will you say? Rajana. What will you say? Katabna. Fahimna. Hafizna. Now what did you do? You gave third radical sukun. Did you give sukun to third radical? Huh? What is the first radical? In kataba, ka. What is second radical? Ta. And what is third radical? Ba. In Arabic we call it fa kalima, ayn kalima, la. Now these are the foundations. Right? Uh, if we understand, then the complex verbs will become very easy for you, inshallah. Hmm? Keeping in mind those kalimas, when it, they get a sukun, okay, or even when they get a kasra, it will all come, inshallah. So, brothers and sisters, after you put noon there, then <clears throat> that third radical will remain sukun. And what you are adding, Brother Muhammad, what did you add afterward? Tatumatum ti tumatunna tuna. Makes the job very easy, brother. After hunna, these are the file. So, you will take the verb uh, and give a Sukun to the third radical and then add these files. So that is why you must write. Huh? You write and you will become expert, inshallah. It's very easy. Huh? And I will be repeating it. So that is why you must write. Huh? You write and you will become expert, inshallah. It's very easy. Huh? And I will be repeating it, inshallah. So how do we come to this question? Huh? Ha, it was here because of that. Kharajna minal mustashfa. They came out from the mustashfa. See? Now, Kharajna, the translation is they came out. So where is they? They is nunu niswa. Ha, nunu niswa means they. Refers to ladies. Ha? Kharajna minal mustashfa. How will you translate? They came out from the hospitals. Where is they in the world? Nunu Niswa. Huh? Alhamdulillah. Inshallah you'll get it. Huh? Number three. Huh? Read the example and then change the sentences according to the example. Okay, brothers and sisters. Zainabu kharajat min al-fasli. Zainabu wa aminatu wa maryamu kharajna. Now, Kharajna refers to all these three. Remember? One more thing I, I want to emphasize, brother, if I have not emphasized before. The sequence, brother and sister, the sequence of verbal sentence. Remember this sequence, brother. First will be verb, which is fial. Uh, brother? Fialum. Then will come subject, which is fa'ilum. And then will come object, which we have not learned yet, but we will learn soon, inshallah. 
And what do you call object in Arabic? Maf'oolun bihi. Huh? This is the sequence, brother and sister. The verb should follow this sequence. Most of the time, it should follow this sequence. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, here is something. Zainabu kharajat min al-fasli. Are you with me, brother? Now, as we know, this is the sequence of the verbal sentence. So, the sentence starts with a noun, Zainabu. So, what is that? Mubtada. What is that, brothers and sisters? Mubtada. Okay. Now, Khabar. Kharajat. Kharajat. You can analyze that also. But most of the time when we ask the students, there is the file, they'll say Zainab. No. No, because the file has to come after. See the sequence? There has to be a verb first, and then file. So what came before the verb is not filed. Okay? So, so now we have kharajat. I can see ta. Is that ta filed? No. It is ta utani si. Telling me the action was done by a family. So where is the verb, Brother Abdul Samad? Kharaja. Kharaja is the verb. Huh? And then now where is the file? I cannot see it. So then it has to be mustatir. Now that file, which is Mustatir, Sister Harifa, uh, what will be our estimation? In the Arabic, we say Taqdiruhu here. Because Tao Tanisi says uh, that it is a feminine. So Taqdiruhu here. Are you with me? Kharajat, huh? where is the file? Mustatir. And what is the estimation? Taqdiruhu here. Huh? We, will, we will be repeating this a lot. Okay? Now this here must go somewhere. It must relate to something. So where does this here take us to? Zainab. This is how it is. Are you with me? It is, it will, it is how it will be. Brother. So then our khabar is Jumla failure. Are you with me? Jumla failure is your khabar. Where is the word Mubtada? Zainab. Huh? The same way Zainabu wa Aminatu wa Maryamu. Well, all of them are, you know, coming before the verb. So what will I say? Zainabu, Mubtada. Then comes Wow, Ataf. And what will I say to Aminatu? Mautufun ala Zainab. Huh? Got the idea? Then again, wow came, ataf. And then what will you, I say, Maryamu, mautufu ala Zainab. It goes to the first one. Huh? Inshallah. Mashallah, you are getting it there. Now comes Harajna. Brother, I have to see, is there a file in the sentence? Yes. I see noon. Noon, noon, is why is the file. Oh, but the, where is the verb? Haraj. With the sukun. Haraj. Huh? With a sukun. Why there is a sukun? Because the mutaharik pronoun is there. Huh? Why? Mutaharik pronoun is there. Huh? Mutaharik means a pronoun which has a proper vowel sign. There is a fatah there. Very good, brothers and sisters. Min al fasli jam. Now, brother, all these sentences are, sentences are all, what shall I call them? Alwa puri. <laughs> they are all easy, brother. What you do? You are going to change the muptada into jama. And if you change the muptada into jama, the verb will change. Are you with me, Brother Muhammad? Yes. So what will be your first sentence? al mudarrisatu zahabat ila al-fasli. Now change it. al mudarrisatu zahabna ila al-fasli. Brother, after having... After doing so much practice, we should be strong now. Huh? 
بني شال مدرسات ذهبنا إلى الفصل. So it's very easy. But by writing, you will get stronger. If you won't write better, then you will forget. Our, you know, we are called insan. And the characteristics of the insan is that he forgets. And it is good to forget, brother. Sometimes. Because if we had some painful situation, and we, if we never forgot them, then we'll be miserable all throughout our life. But those painful uh, experiences, Allah lets us forget by the passage of time. They don't bother us. But then good things we must always remember. Good things we should not forget. Okay? Fine. Brother uh, Hassan. At-talibatul jadida. So here comes Nath Manut. At-talibatu mubtada. What is the jadida to? Nath. Fine. And where is our khabar? Jalasat. Jumla failure. Jumla failure is coming as a khabar. Remember khabar we have learned? It can be of five kinds. Okay. Fine. Now change it, brother. At-talibatu al jududu al jududu and then very firstly see now your mind immediately recognize that it has to be jalasna got the idea inshallah inshallah brother I I have confidence you will all be masters of Arabic verbs soon inshallah now brother Abu Samad bintu muhammadin what kind of a combination is this Mudafilehi. Fine, brothers and sisters. Uh, of the Samad only. Brother of the Samad, you make it now. Uh-huh. MashaAllah. But I think you erred. See, what is the combination bin to Muhammadin? Oh, Muhammadin. Yeah, so it is mudaf. So when you change bintu into banat, Muhammadan is still mudaf. So banatu, not banatun, it will be wrong. Mudaf cannot have tanvi, cannot have al. Banatu Muhammad. Then, uh, and then you will say, zahabna ilal madrasati. So it's easy, brothers and sisters, it's very easy. You know, I'm not going to rush. I'm going to go slowly. There are certain things that must be understood by all of you very well. And then when the, they are understood, then we'll speed up a little bit, inshallah. Fine. Now, again, brother, this is also halwa puri. Okay. Hada, hadihi, hawlai. These are three ismu isharas you have to uh, do it, huh? okay. Uh, first is Akhi. What does fit here? Does Hada fit here? Hadihi fit here? Or how will I fit here? But the Said? No, Hada. Akhi is Muzakka. Hada Akhi. What will be it? Hada Akhi. MashaAllah. Very good. Brother Salman, you take the next one. Hazihi Okti. Okay. And uh, Rijalun, Sister Nusrat. Haulai. Sister Mainas. Mudarrisuna. Haulai. Sister Nasrin. Talibatu. Haulai. Sister Mamuna. Ummi. Hazihi Ummi. Sister Aisha. Haza Abbi. Sister Arifa. Hadhi. Sister Sukhaina. Haulai. And Sister Naima. Haulai. Now tell me, brother, this is a piece of cake. Halwapuri. Not even a full jalebi, half jalebi. <laughs> okay. Now we have, this is again very beautiful and very easy exercise. Uh, we will do a little fast now. Da put fil amakin al khaliyati in the empty spaces from the following sentences a proper damir. 
And we have the choice of huwa, hiya, hum, and hunna. Fine, brother. Uh, we are with you, sister Fatima. Man hadar rajulu. What will you say? Choose one of the pronouns. Do you want to say huwa or hum? Or you want to say hiya or hunna? Look at it. It is mudarri sun. Huwa, mashallah. Say with confidence. Huwa. It was correct. Huh? Now we are playing a TV game now. Uh, correct, you get 10 points. Uh, incorrect, you bring one dozen samosas. <laughs> okay. Fine, brother. Nah, sister Faiza. Aina talibatu. Talibatu. No, hunna. Hiya will become singular. If I said Aina Talibatu, then Hiya would have been appropriate. Huh? Uh, when I say Aina Talibatu, then it becomes Hunna. Okay, Sister Faisa, uh, this time your sambosas, we are excusing you. Huh? But next time it will cost you. Okay. Fine. But Hassan, Man Haulail Fityatu. See, it says fityatu. Fityatu? Hum. Uh, it is mudakka. Okay, fatan fityatu. Fatatun fatayatun. Remember difference. Fatan mudakka. Jama fityatun. Even though you see ta marbuta there, but it is hum. Got the idea? Brother, I think we have to cancel because we will have too many samosas now. <laughs> We won't be able to eat, eat all of them, you know. Okay. Bada Abdul Samad. Aina Talibatu Jadidatu. Talibatu Jadidatu. Bada Talibatu is singular. Here. I, I thought this was Halwa Puri and you find it a hard chick piece? <laughs> no, no, inshallah. Okay. Okay, brother Said. Man haulai nasu. See, nasu. What will you say now? Four pronouns to choose from. What will you say? Nasu. Salman. Hum. Mashallah. Hum. Hum hojajun min al hind. Brother Muhammad. Aina tabibatu. Aina tabibatu. Hunna fil mustashfal viladati. Okay, now, sister Amana, man hazal waladul ladi kharaja min baitika, who wabnu akhi, he is the brother, he is the son of my brother, he is the son of my brother. Okay, sister Amir. Min aina haulai do you fu? Hum minar riyal. Mashallah, that is correct. The sister Suhaina. Min aina haulai mumaridatu. Hunna minal filibinia. Now, sister Naima. Man hadi il fatatu. 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 Is it singular or plural? Singular. So what will you say? He huh? You have to think quickly. Huh? MashaAllah, that was correct. Okay. Brothers and sisters, this is a very beautiful exercise. It should be written in the book properly. Huh? Write in the book, inshallah. Number six. Give plurals of the following uh, nouns. Sister Fatima, Uchtun. You got to memorize them now, brother. Uchtun. Fatima, what is the plural? Akhawatun. What is the plural? Akhawatun. Akhawatun. You got to memorize. Huh? And how will you memorize? By reading. Read the lesson as often as you can. And inshallah, you will see that you have memorized it. And if you have uh, 
two or three students sitting, then you can quiz each other and practice each other. Fine. So, Ukhutun, what is the plural? Akhawatun. Sister Faiza, Bintun, Banatun. Sister Nusrat, Muslimatun, Muslimatun. Minus, Tabibatun, Tabibun. MashaAllah, Atibba. We must remember, inshallah. Uh, Sister Maimuna, Zawjun. Azwajun, MashaAllah. Zawjatun, Aisha. Zawjatun? Zawjatun. Fatatun, Arifa. Fatayatun. Bada Hassan. Kabiratun. Kibarun. Kabilatun. Tiwalu, Tiwalu. Tiwa, if you say at, then Tiwalu, otherwise Tiwalun. Jadidatun, Salman, Jududun. And Akhun, Ikhwatun. Ikhwatun. Ikhwatun or Ikhwanun. Okay. Uh, Amana, Kabirun. Kibarun. Jadidun. Mashallah. Excellent. Huh? So, but this is all a revision again. Huh? Asma'ul isharati lil karib hada talibun and hadihi talibatun. And haulai tulabun. And again, same thing, haulai talibatun. So, this is the gist of what we have learned, you know. Al kalimatul jadidatu. Azawju. Azawju, what is the jama? Azwajun, very good. Al maratu, what is the jama? Nisaun. You will remember this, inshallah. Okay? Al maratu biduni al imraatun. Now this we have to remember. Imratun, a lady, a woman. When you make it definite, the Hamza goes away. Al Maratu. Now you just have to memorize it. Huh? And remember, Al Maratu. If you take out Al, then it becomes Imratu. Huh? You have to memorize it. Okay. And then Karibun. Now, brother, Haulai is for near. What is for? The thing which is far? Ulai. What is it? And it will be used both for feminine and masculine. Huh? It will be used for both feminine and masculine. So, ha ulai ikhwati wa ulaika asdikai. Okay? Simple sentences. Ha ulai, muqtada, ikhwati, how many words? Two. Mudaf, mudafili. Where is our khabar? Ikhwatu. Huwa mudaf. And then ya mutakallim mudafile. Wa ulaika wa ataf ulaika muftita. Okay. And then where is our khabar? Asdikai. Now, brother, what is asdikai combination? Mudaf mudafile. Where is our mudaf? Asdika u. Asdika u. And then it became mudaf and it became asdikai because of the ya mutakallim. Huh? Fine, brother. Man rijalu tiwalu. Now we have to see properly, brother. Man, leave it. We are not analyzing that. If you say ulaika, which is a smooth shara, what will be a rijalu? Badal. And what will be tiwalu? Naat. Are you with me? Huh? Abhi? Got it, sister? Look at these three words. What are those three words? Ulaika rijalu tiwalu. Now tell me, ulaika, what is ulaika? Ismu ashara. Huh? And it comes ar rijalu. Badal. And then at tiwalu. Naat. This is how we will do it. Did you get it, Brother Muhammad? Yes. Hassan? Salman, brother? Brother Samad? Yes. Inshallah. Huh? Fine. Hum. Huh? What are this? Hum. Where is the khabar? Atibbao, Atibbao, 
من امریکا جا مشرور فائن من اولا کن نسا او دیز لیڈیز وٹ آر دے ہن امہ تالباتی اوکے بدر سو امہ تالباتی وٹ کین آف کمبینیشن از دس بدر محمد امہات طالباتی بدرسن امہات طالباتی مداف مداف لی what is it? مداف مداف لی so where is the مبتدا ہننا and where is the our خبر امہات امہات is the خبر وہو مداف and then مداف لی very good brother آباء الطلابی what kind of a combination is this? مداف مداف لی so what is آباء مبتدا وہو مداف and then مداف لی عند المدیری what is عند بدر it is ظرف شبو جملہ خبر when you say ظرف make it شبو جملہ خبر if it is coming as a خبر and then المدیری مداف لی what will be مدیری سسل نعیمہ مداف لی are you with me? انشاءاللہ اولائکن نساء خالاتو خالاتو کی خالاتو کی یا مریم اولائکن نساء خالاتو کی یا مریم what is the translation those ladies are they your خالہ you know they are your mother's sisters لا ہن لا ہن اماتی they are my father's sisters they are my father's sisters so اماتی how many words two what is the combination مدات مدافلی so اماتو is your خبر هاولائی اتباعو These are doctors. Wa ulaika muhandi suna. This is very easy, brother. Huh? Can you translate, brother? Samad ha ulai at tibbau. These are doctors and these are engineers. And those are engineers. Very. Ha ulai rijalu fukarau. Ha ulai rijalu. Huh, brother? Ha ulai rijalu. Salman. What is how lie, brother? Mubtida. And what is Rijalu, brother? No. Badal. See, you must. Uh, uh, do you see, Sister Arifa? What is how lie? Mubtida. And then Ar Rijalu came. And what is how lie? Ismu Ishara. So after Ismu Ishara, if a definite noun counts, make it a badal. Don't make it a badal. Because badal goes away. Huh? Make it a badal. Okay, brother? How lie? Rijalu. And then where is the khabar, brother Salman? Fokharao. You see? Now that's the way you analyze. Lai huh? rijalu, muftada, badal, and then khabar. Next one, brother? وَأُولَائِكَ أَغْنِيَاهُ Masha'Allah, that is better. Very good. Now, Abad Abdul Samad, أُولَائِكَ الطُّلَّابُ دِعَافٌ دِعَافٌ is the jama'af da'if. Weak, weak. So, Abad أُولَائِكَ, what is أُولَائِكَ? And الطُّلَّابُ الطُّلَّابُ is badal. Masha'Allah. And the Afu is Khabar. 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 Sentence is complete. If you make it not, then we still have to bring a news. No. Complete. Ulaika tulabu. Those students, what is the news? They are weak. Brother Hassan. Man ulaika rijalu. What is the translation? Who are those men? Men. So, what is the answer? They are ministers. Wazir, 
Wazir was the Rao, ministers. Mubtida huh? Khabar. Very good, brother. Now this is change Mubtida into plural and you will make a sentence according to the answer. Zalika Rajlu Mudarrisun. Now, brother, I ask you one thing. Brother Muhammad, Zalika Rajlu Mudarrisun. What is Zalika? Oh, fine, very good. More than that? Uh, Muftida. Muftida, very good. And what is next? Ar Rajulu. MashaAllah. And where is the news? MashaAllah, MashaAllah. May Allah bless you, increase you in knowledge, and all of us. Dadakallahu ilman ya Muhammad. Fine. And then you change it now. Zalika became Ulaika. Rajalu became Rijalu. And Mudarisun became Mudarisun. Got the idea? This is a very beautiful exercise. Amana. Huh? Man Zalika al Fata. Now you have to change it into question. What will you say? Man, then you will change Zalika into? Huh? Ulaika. How Ulai has he? Zalika is Ulaika. Huh? You say Ulaika. And then Al Fatah will become Al Fityatu. What is it? Al Fityatu. So this is how you change the sentence. Manna Ulaika Al Fityatu. What will you say? Man Ulaika Al Fityatu. Uh, you got to do one more sentence. You know, these are all coming in questions. Min Aina Zalika Al Mudarisu. So now we will change. Min aina ulaikal mudarisuna. Mashallah, you got it correctly now. Huh? Very good. Now, Sister Abir, tilkal fatatu bintu tabibi. Now, what will you say? Tilka will change into huh? ulai. No. How lies? Remember, how lies for close. Yeah. So, what is the plural of haza and how? Haza and hazihi? How lie? Tilka and zalika? Ulaika. Huh? Ulaika? Fatayatu. Huh? So now, banatu you. Tabibi. You got to change everywhere. Huh? Now, brothers and sisters, right. These are the exercises when you write, you'll get strong. Otherwise, you'll forget. And when you write, inshallah, the plural form will be part of your memory. You are a little slow because the plurals have come. Now we've got to memorize plurals. Huh? Quiz each other if you have time, even on phone, and you'll get stronger. Okay, Sister Faiza. Hada Talibu. Min in Kaltarra, Vazalika, Min Faransa. Haza. Haulai. Tullabu. Aha. In Kaltarra. Tarra, yes. And. Va. Ulaika. Min Faransa. That is correct. Huh? Now you have, Sister Fatima, a question. Zalikal Mohandisu Muslimu. Now you have to change everything into plural. Zalika. What will you change? Zalika into? Ulaika. What will you change Zalika into? Ulaika. Are you with me? Now, you've got to understand. What is the plural of Haza? Haulaika. What is the plural of Hazihi? Haulaika. What is the plural of tilka? Ulaika. What is the plural of zalika? Ulaika. And you have to remember these things. Remember it well. Huh? So, Sister Fatima, a zalika, zalika will change into ulaika. And then, muhandisun will change into al muhandi sun. And then, muslimun will change into muslimun. Are you with me? Huh? You should. Huh? You should be able to do it, brother. Uh, okay.
Ula'ika Al Muhan Di Suna And then what do you say? Musli Muna No brothers and sisters You got to write You got to write huh? Write it Fine. Uh, Sister Naima, هذه المرات ممرضة وتلك طبيبة طبيبة. هذه المرات ممرضة وتلك طبيبة. هؤلاء هؤلاء نساء. What will you say? Haula in Nisau. Sahi. Haula in Nisau. Mumari datun. Mumari datun. Okay. Watilka, now you will say. Waula ika tabi batun. Ula ika tabi batun. Shall. Because this is a new thing is coming, it, we are a little slow. But if you write it, inshallah, you'll be strong. Huh? So, Sister Sukhaina. Hmm? Yeah, see. Man haulail auladu attiwalu. Man haulail auladu attiwalu. Who are these tall boys, you know? Fine, that was good. Uh, Sister Arifa. تلك الفتاة الصغيرة أختها من ما شاء الله. That was beautiful. Huh? That was very good. Huh? Ula, say it loudly one more time, Sister Arifa. ما شاء الله. ما شاء الله. أولئك الفتيات الصغار Akhawatu Hamidin, mashallah. Let's analyze it. Let's analyze the way it is. Tilka. Sister Arifa, you got to do it. Tilka. What is Tilka, sister? No, Tilka is Muftada. Huh? Don't rush. And what is Fatatu? Tilka came at the Ismu Shara, so Al Fatatu is now Badal. And As Sagiratu? Not. See, no, no, look at it. I want you to look at the combination. Al-Fatatu, As-Sagiratu. What kind of a combination is this? Nat Manut. Are you with me? Arifa. Tilka, our Muftada. Al-Fatatu is our Badal. And Sagiratu is your Nat. Now where is the Khabar? Now we got two words. It's a combination. Ukhtu Hamidin. Ukhtu is your khabar. Wa huwa mudaf and mudafin. Brother Hassan, you got it, brother? Inshallah. But everybody should get it, inshallah. Brother, I am emphasizing this analysis in a very simple way. Trying to make you very strong from the very beginning. So that later on, everything will become very easy, inshallah. It is taking us time instead of just translating. Uh, now you try to translate. Uh, translate. This is Tilkal Fatatu Sagiratu Uhtu. Tilka is that. Whatever you want to translate. Translate singular one. Mashallah. That's good enough. Beautiful. Got the idea? Mashallah. Now, Sister Aisha. Ummu Taliba Taliba T. See? Mudaf Mudafili. Fine. Mashallah. Excellent. Mamtaza. Beautiful. Huh? So, uh, what is Tilka? 
مبتلا ان وارث المراه بدل ان وارث ده خبر ام ما شاء الله هو مضاف and then مضاف اليه got the idea beautiful beautiful everybody uh, understood inshallah brother salman you got it huh? fine brother now sister ramona uh, you got a long sentence Mashallah. That was very beautiful. Huh? Say it one more time loudly. Mashallah. Excellent. Excellent. Now try to analyze the singular one. In the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Now analyze it, sister. Yes. Yes. Very good. Okay. Mashallah. No, then you, you, you already got your khabar as to Jarun. So then we will say, Minal Mamlikati, Jar Majroor. And then Al Arbiati, Naat. And then Al Saudiati, Naat. Huh? Because they are starting al al al. Okay, inshallah. Okay. Fine, brothers and sisters. We come again with halwa puri. There are three smusharas. Dalika, tilka, ulaika. And you got to fit them. Sister Nasreen, talibun. Dalika, talibun. Sister Manas. Like it, John. She said, Musa. MashaAllah. And then Brother Hassan. What will you say? Tilka. Excellent, excellent. Brother Abdul Samad. Ulaika Ummahatu Talibati. Talibati. Huh? So, brother, it is Ulaika. Huh? Very good. Uh, brother Said, you want to do it? Abau Tullabi? Ulaika. Ulaika. Abau Tullabi. MashaAllah. Brother Zalika um, Fallahun. MashaAllah. Muhammad. Tilka Umma Muhammadin. Tilka Ummu Muhammadin. Tilka Ummu Muhammadin. Amana. Sadiqi. No, Sadiq is one. Zalika. Sister Abhi, Akhawati. Akhawati, MashaAllah. You can do one more. No, both are like. They are plurals. Akhawati, my sisters. Ikhwati, my brothers. In both cases, it will be Ulaika, Ulaika. Fine, brother. Jama. Give Jama, brother. And uh, Sister Faiza. Ummun. Ummahatun. Ummahatun. I know plurals, we are still new to it. But we'll try and understand, inshallah. Very good. Uh, Sister Fatima. Abun. Abaun. Abaun. Very good. Now, Sister Naima. Imraatun. Very nisa. Very easy. Huh? Very easy. Now, Ammatun. Ammatun. MashaAllah. That's correct. Huh? Okay. Sister Arifa. Daifun. Diafun. Yeah, it can be, but in our book, Dr. Abdurrahim has given the Afun. Huh? So let us stick with our the Afun. Huh? The Afun, the Afun. Sister Aisha, Wazirun, Wazara'u. Huh? 
and uh, very easy sister Mamuna ismun asmau mashallah okay but then look at these ikra waktu asdikau agniyau akviyau attibau there is a pattern there what is the pattern can somebody tell me huh? afilau write down on the corner that pattern what is the pattern afilau okay Af i la. And what is the next pattern? Fu a la. Can you see there is a single dhamma? What does it tell us? It's a diptote. What does it tell us? It is a diptote. It it will only go to af la af i la u af i la a, and again it will be af i la a. So, Fukara'u, Zumala'u, Wuzara'u, Ulama'u. Now, we've got to memorize that. Huh? Inshallah. You know, I, I'm urging the people who are young, who are not yet married. Why? Because they have more time at their disposal. If you work day and night, brother, I literally mean day and night. I mean it. Huh? Because... You have come from the school to learn Arabic and this is your first encounter, you know, from university. You have come specially to learn Arabic. May Allah bless you with the knowledge of Arabic and his book. Uh, we have to work very hard. Uh, more hard than others who are wives, mothers, you know. So it's kind of a more on their shoulder. And those young people, if you don't work hard, brothers, sisters, brothers, who's to blame? Ourselves. Okay. I want to tell you a little story. This is very common with all of us. When we are young and once we, our parents start to introduce Quran in our lives, we are seven, eight, uh, even at that time, the, there is an urge in our mind. I want to learn Arabic. Okay, there is an urge. But then, you are still very young. When you become 12, 13, you know, okay, then you say, I have a dream. And what is that dream? I want to learn Arabic. Okay, but then you are too busy with your soccer game and with your television and sometimes you know going out okay you never fulfill that dream then you become 17 18 year old 19 year old you still say to yourself I have a dream and what is that dream that I want to learn Arabic but now you are young maybe somebody will steal your heart huh? and then you you get into that chakar huh? You like somebody and then, you know, well, your parents will let you marry and then you marry. Or you will go to university and you are very busy in university. Huh? You have no time because we must have a secular education too. The best of it. We should be doctors and engineers and lawyers. It is very important for us. So what will you say? I have a dream. But I am too busy now. And then, brother, there is a lineup of children. Now you got more responsibility. You are working. It's so hard on you. Huh? Still, you will say, I have a dream. Never fulfills. And then later on, you are 45, 50. Now your children are getting married. Huh? Too much responsibility. The pressure of the job. You say, you know, I'm so busy. I don't know where my day starts and where it ends. I have no clue. But you say, I have a dream. Brother, then we become Buddha. We become old. Huh? And we say, my mind is weak now. You know, I, I, I find everything so hard. I, you know, but you still say, I have a dream. I want to learn Arabic, brother. You are only saying... I have a dream, I want to learn Arabic. 
and then one day Malkut Moth will come. The day he wants to take your soul, you say, I have a dream. You know, the Malkut Moth will say, too late. You know, you had your time, you didn't use it. So now people take you to the graveyard. Huh? They, they, there's a hole there and they put you in your permanent abode till you are called up by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Still the voice comes from there. What is that voice? I have a dream. And then the malaika next to you are sitting. Shut up now. Time is over. You know? So this is our story, brother. We have the dream, but we don't do anything. We got to do it. Alhamdulillah, you have all come here to fulfill your dreams. And Allah will bless you. We will work hard. May Allah bless you with your dreams, you know. Truly speaking, for me it was a dream to learn Arabic so that I can understand Quran. So it will be your turn now to fulfill your dreams. So my point is, young sisters, young brother, work hard. Don't miss this opportunity. Don't be swayed and carried away by television programs or friends. All of them should stay on one side till you finish the course. Huh? And then after you finish the course, you can go out with your friends and enjoy a little bit. But right now, work, 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 work. Nothing else. I hope you will remember this example because this is the part of our life. It happens. Okay? The time slips from your hand, you know. Inshallah, we'll hold it this time. The time slips from your hand, you know. Inshallah, we'll hold it this time. Brothers and sisters, Asma'ul Ishara, Asma'ul Isharati Lil Ba'id, Zalika. Zalika talibun, ulaika tulabun. Tilka talibatun, ulaika talibatun. Fine, brother. Now comes verb. Muhammadun zahaba. Okay, brother, what is this Muhammadun zahaba? What is the translation? Muhammad went. Now analyze it. What is Muhammad? Muftida. Where is the khabar? Zahaba. What is zahaba? Jumla failure, verbal sentence, complete verbal sentence. Where is the fiel? No. Fiel, zahaba. Where is the file? Mustatir. Takdiruhu huwa. And then it goes to Muhammad. Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. Then Muhammadun wa Hamidun wa Aliyun zahabu. Okay, what kind of a sentence is this? This is Jumla Ismiya. Muhammadun. Muftida. Wow is ataf. Hamidun, mautuf. Wa Ali, mautuf. And where is the khabar? This is a complete sentence. Where is the fiel? Zahabu. Huh? First, brother Abdul Samad, we recognize the fiel. And then we come to wow. Where is the fiel? Zahabu with dhamma. And where is the file? Wow, mashallah. See, now this is not required. This is not required. Oh, the understanding then how you use the verb is required from us. But we are on our own going further and doing analysis so that we become strong and later on, brother, you will be able to do the whole Quran with this way. And we have books to help you. Huh? Fine. Maryamu Zahabat. Are you with me? What is Maryam? Muftida. Where is the Khabat? Jumla Felia. Where is the Fial? Zahaba. What is, where is the fiel? And what is ta? Ta utanishi. We got to separate them. Where is the fiel? Zahaba. And what is this next thing? This ta utanishi. Separate them. Huh? Very good. Maryamu wa aminatu wa fatimatu zahabna. Okay? What is Maryamu? Muftita. What is aminatu? Mautufun ala Maryam. And what is fatimatu? Mautufun ala Maryam. And zahabna, what is this? Complete jumla failure with fiel and file. Where is the fiel? Zahab. Zahab. Only zahab. Sukun. And where is the file? Na. Nunu niswa. Mashallah. Very good, brothers and sisters. We are going very well. 
We'll try to finish this lesson if possible. Okay? Al Kalimatul Jadidatu. Brother, it is Da'ifun, Da'afun, uh, or Da'ifatun, the plural is same. Okay? If there is a typo, corrected. Da'ifun. There is a fata on Ain, but it should be Kasra. Okay? Ummun Ummahatun Kaviyun Akviyaul Abun Abaul Alimun Ulamaul You got it, brothers and sisters? No, we got to memorize them. Plurals have to be memorized slowly, slowly. Fine, brothers and sisters. Next thing on our agenda is tea break. Let's have a break. Inshallah. Adasto Rabiu Ashar. Lesson number 14. Al Fithiyatu. What is Al Fithiyatu? Young people. Young men. Huh? It's group. All of them are saying in group, Assalamu alaikum. And then Hamid is saying, Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. See, rahmatullahi. What is rahmatullahi? Mudhaf. Mudafilihi. Wa barakatuhu. What is barakatuhu? Mudaf, mudafilihi. MashaAllah. 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 Ahadul fityati. What is it, brother? Ahadul fityati. Mudaf, mudafilihi. One of the young men. Okay. Kaifahaluka ya ammi. How are you, my uncle? What is the answer? Ana bi khair. Ana mubtada. Where is the khabar? Bi khair. Jar mazur shibu jumla. And then it is always necessary to say Alhamdulillah. With wow. Huh? You say Alhamdulillah. And all praise be to Allah. Kaifa huh? halukum. How are you all? Kaifa halukum. Man antum. Jan na pashan. Ab mere mehman ban gay. Manantum, who are you? Nahnu abnao dukturi. See? Nahnu mubtada. What is abnao dukturi? Mudaf, mudafilihi. Sahi? So where is the khabar? Abnao is our khabar. Wa huwa mudaf and then mudafilihi. Very good. Brother, sister Arifa, what is this Musa doing here? It is Badal. Now it's very easy for you to say Badal. You know why? The way I ask you the question. <laughs> when I say what is this Musa doing here? Then maybe it is Badal. But you see, now change it. Huh? Remove Doctor and re- put Musa. It will substitute. Okay. We Nahnu Abnau Musa. And now remove Musa. And then you will say Nahnu Abnau Doctori. So you know Musa is a Badal for Doctor. Right? It substitutes. So this is the way you will think, you know, inshallah. Okay, brother and sister? Brother Hassan, you got it? Huh? Inshallah. Salman, did you feel it, brother? Okay, inshallah. Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban. We are going to analyze it in book three. Huh? Not now. Abukum sadiki. Abukum. How many words? Mudaf mudafili. Sadiki. How many words? Mudaf mudafilihi. Sahih. So where is our muftada? Abu. And huwa mudaf. And kum mudafilihi. And sadiku is khabar. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudafilihi. Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. Yes. Welcome. Be my guest. Yes, welcome. You are welcome. But we will go in detail later on. It's very beautiful thing, brother. We we go in detail and understand the meaning of it, you know. Because when you say ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban, there are things hidden behind it. There are sentences hidden behind it. Okay, just the way you say shukran, brother, there is a sentence behind that. Huh? When you say subhana, there is a sentence behind it. But once you learn the meaning of subhana, you'll be surprised. 
So much to learn. So much to understand. When you say Gofaran, what is Gofaran? There's a sentence behind, huh? which is understood by those who know Arabic. Okay, those who know Arabic, they can easily understand what's behind this. What huh? Marhaban by itself means? No, welcome. This the whole Jumla means you are welcome. Huh? Most the Arabs just say Ahlan wa Sahlan. Yeah. They don't say Marhaban. Uh, short form. Uh, but it means welcome. Huh? Okay. Aina, look at this brother. Aina ammukum ashaykhu isa. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What is the translation? Where is your uncle, Sheikh Isa? Okay, Arifa, I want to give a little chance to Arifa. Arifa, Ammukum, what is Ammukum? Mudaf, Mudafilehi. Sahi? Now we have Mudaf, Mudafilehi. Ammukum. Okay? So what is the Sheikhu? Where will you put this? Where does it go to? From Ammukum, where will you put Shaykhu? Brother Abdul Samad? It is Badal. Badal for what? Ammu. Ammu only. Not for Kum. Ammu. Huh? Ammu. Uh, fine. So that is your badal for um. And what is Isa? Isa is also badal. Uh, they, are, they are all referring to Ammu. Um. So if you only say Aina Ammukum Isa, good enough. If you say Aina Ammukum Ashaykhu, good enough. See, tell me one thing. Ammu kum. What is Ammu? Uda. Uda. Is kum uh, majroor or marfu? What is kum? Majroor. Mudafila is always majroor. So Ammu, you say, Ammu, when you say Ammu, it is marfu. So Badal has to be marfu. So it is a shaykhu. Huh? See? A shaykhu. Marfu. Why it is marfu? Because Ammu is marfu. And Isa is also marfu, because it is a proper noun. Okay, and you, in Isa you don't see Tanween, uh, because it's a foreign name. Okay. Ammu ka badal hai. We don't analyze it, Sister Nusrat. If we were to analyze it, uh, we will get into problem. Uh, when you go in book, Three, we will analyze everything. Okay? Okay, okay. Aina. Now, just you have asked me a question, I'll say it. Probably we will edit it later on. Okay? Aina. What is Aina? You tell me. What is the meaning of Aina? Where? So, what kind of a noun is this Aina? It is a zarf. What is it? Zarf. So, in other words, can zarf be muftada? No. So, in this sentence, ammu is your muftada. Uh, and then kum is mudafilehi. And al shaykhu is your badal. And isa is also badal. So, where is the khabar? Aina. Ah. Okay, oh, sister, <laughs> my friends, wait for book three. You know, we are, you see, that's why I tell you we don't analyze now, question now. Because I, I, that will become too much of analysis. Simple analysis. Eh? So when you, uh, uh, if, I, if I tell you, you know, for the sake of it, Aina Muhammadun, okay? Uh, in this sentence, how will you know whether, uh, which is which? What will you, uh, what, what will be your answer? Suppose uh, um, Muhammad is in the house. So if I tell you, Aina Muhammadun, what will be your answer? Muhammadun fil bayti. So you see, in the second sentence, Muhammad came as a muftida. So in the first sentence, it is also muftida. 
So these are the, some of the things we will learn in book three. Huh? But again, if I tell you, Aina Muhammadun, and once you know Aina is a zarf, a zarf can never be Mubtada. Jar Majur cannot be Mubtada. You see, they can only be Khabar. Or you turn it around, you say Muhammadun, Mubtada, Aina, then it is Khabar. Huh? Are you with me? But we don't want to go into that detail now. It is not necessary. Huh? Not at all necessary. Because when you come back, to, when we come back to book uh, 3, lesson number 10, you know what is lesson number 10? Muptada and Khabar. We will be doing again Muptada and Khabar in detail, but brothers and sisters, having known all these things, will make that lesson halwa puri. Because you know already all, most of the things, and that lesson will be in detail what kinds of Muptada are there. What kinds of khabar are there? But we are already building ourselves. Huh? We are already putting our foundation. So we will be strong by the time we reach there. So that is why I request you not to be concerned about analyzing questions. Wait till we come to book three, inshallah. After that, you will analyze everything, inshallah. Okay. Who are maridun? Very easy. Who are maridun? Mubtada khabar. Huwa al-ana fil mustashfa. Huwa, again mubtada, what is al-ana? Zarf. And fil mustashfa, jar majur, shibu jumla, khabar. Fine. Shafahullahu. <coughs> now I, I want you just to know this. Shafahul. Shafa is a verb. So it cannot be mudaf mudafili. So I don't want to go in detail. We will go in very soon, inshallah. Shafa is a verb. Look at Shafa. Huh? Shafa is a verb. And file is always marfu. So where is the file? Shafa Allah. Huh? Shafa Allah. Are you with me? Sister Arifa? What is Shafa? A verb. Huh? Huh? And then, raise the file. Allah. Look, this kind of a damir. Huh? Brothers and sisters. Which damir? Who? Huma hum. Ha. Huma hunna. Ka. Kuma kum. Ki. Kuma kunna. Ya mutakalam. And na. These are damir. But remember, they are not marfu. Huh? These damir we used as mudafilehi. So mudafilehi is majroor. We use as isim majroor. For the file, it has to be marfu. So where is the file marfu? Allah. This is not marfu, brother. When you say kitabuhu, what is who? Mudafilehi. Mudafilehi majroor. Sahi? Okay? Are you with me, brother? We are going to learn. Okay, but I just wanted to say. Shafa, who, Allah, and see here, there's an alif maksura, and when you add damir to it, uh, then you change the form to okay, and then you put here. Okay, I write another syntax. Where is the file? Allah. Allahu. What is the verb? Jaza. What kind of a verb is this? It will be written like this. Huh? And then plus. And then plus Allah. But I think I will tell you brother. In the past, in the, in the last few days, we have emphasized. Are you listening? Just listen if you can understand. And keep it in your mind, alhamdulillah. Otherwise, don't worry. But this is very important. Comes in lesson number five in book two. We learned that when 
the pronoun is attached to the noun, the result is mudaf, mudafili. When the pronoun is attached to the preposition, the result is jarun or majrun. When the pronoun is attached to the zarf, the result is zarf and mudafile. When the pronoun is attached to the verb, which pronoun? Who, huma, whom, ha, huma. Remember those pronouns. Who, huma, whom, ha, huma, hunna, ka, kuma, kum, ki, kuma, kunna, ya, mutakallam, and na. When these are attached to the verb, what are they? Objects. What are they? Bafulun bihi. We call it bafulun bihi. I just said it. If you remember it, alhamdulillah. If you don't remember, don't worry. Huh? So what is who doing here? It is mafulun bihi. What is ka doing here? It is mafulun bihi. But this is what we are going to learn in book two. Brother. I will not, uh, I will ask you not to be concerned. Not to be concerned. Huh? It is coming in book two, inshallah. Huh? Because see, Dr. Abdurrahim has a vision. And in his planning, in book one, there is no mafulun bihi. It will come in book two. Fine, brother. Man hadhi tiflatul lati ma'akum. Man, put a question mark there at the end, brothers and sisters. Man hadhi hil tiflatul lati ma'akum. How will you translate? Child. Who is with you? Who is with you? Okay. Huh? Who is this child, female child? Who is with you? What is the answer? Ahduhum. Remember, ahduhum, ahduhum, one of them. One of them. One of. What is ahduhum? Mudaf, mudaf ilayhi. Fine. Hiya ukhtuna. What is it? Hiya ukhtuna. She is our sister. So, brother, Ukhtuna, what is this combination? Mudaf, mudaf ilay. So, here is Mubtada. Where is our khabar? Ukhtu. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudaf ilay. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Now, Hamid says, Masmuha. What is her name? Okay, what is the name? Ismuha Layla. Her name is Layla. What is Ismuha, this combination? Mudaf, Mudaf ilay. Where is Muftada? Ismu. Wa huwa Mudaf, ha, Mudaf ilay. And where is our Khabar? Layla is our Khabar. Now comes something that requires little extra attention. And we will be practicing this. Sister Arifa, this is a new form of uh, Adjective. You know why I take Sister Arifa's name? Because she, she showed me her concern that, you know, she finds uh, confusing Badal and Nath. I said, don't worry. Uh, when they will come, you will understand, inshallah. Now remember, brother, the combination of Mudaf, Mudaf Ilehi, okay, they will always be with each other. There will be mudaf and immediately mudaf ilay. Nothing in between. So if there is a nath for mudaf, where will it come? Afterwards. If there is a nath for mudaf ilayhi, where will it come? Afterwards. And we will have to figure out that uh, that nath is related to mudaf or it is related to mudaf ilayhi. And it's very easy. You know, Look at this sentence. Aina baitukum. What is baitukum? Mudaf mudafili. Look at baitu. What do you see? It's marfu. Uh -huh. Sister Nasreen, it's marfu. Okay. Now, there is a nath coming after that. Al jadidu. So because it is marfu, where should it go to? Baitu. Uh -huh. So baitukum al jadidu, how will you translate? Your new house. What will you say in English? Your new house. But in Arabic we will say Baitukum 
al jadidu because between baitu and kum nothing can come do you understand baitu kum your house your new house the new has to come after kum baitu kum al jadidu baitu kum al jadidu because now that dhamma on jadidu tells us that it is the nath for baitu got the idea brother very good now look at the new sentence baituna al jadidu so what is baituna mudaf mudaf lay nothing can come if there is a nath it has to come afterwards so baituna al jadidu so al jadidu is your nath for baitu you got it brother mohammed we will be practicing this inshallah huh? we will be practicing this huh? karibun min min al matar it's closer to the airport okay brother baituna al jadidu karibun min al matari okay brother what is baitu mubtada wa huwa mudaf na mudaf ilayhi what is al jadidu nat got the idea it is nat brother arabic is so beautiful huh? it is so beautiful and all these things you will find it in the quran huh? and it will give you immense pleasure that the things that you never understood before now they are making sense to you huh? okay fine brothers and sisters so then where is the khabar qareebun where is the khabar qareebun fine min al matari hamid antum fil madrasati thanawiyati are you in the secondary school ahduhum one of them says la nahnu bil jamiati now this is easy see nahnu do you see damir munfasil alone and it is marfu and it is mubtada here it's marfu huh? the nahnu form is marfu form okay nahnu mubtada where is the khabar then he says ana mubtada fi kulliyati charbad al handasati mudaf mudaf le she fil fi kulliyati fi harf char kulliyati ism majru wa huwa mudaf al handasati mudaf lehi got it brother salman inshallah wa mahmud and mahmud mubtada fi harf char kulliyati ism majrur wa huwa mudaf an at tibbi mudaf lehi wa ibrahim mubtada fi kulliyati jar majrur and al shari'ati shari'ati is mudaf lehi wa yusuf mubtada fi harf char kulliyati ism majrur wa huwa mudaf and tijarati mudaf lehi what is the translation nahnu bil jamiati we are in the university ana i am in the faculty of engineering huh? i am in the faculty of do you see of huh? that is our mudaf mudaf lehi wa mahmud he is in the faculty of medicine wa ibrahim is in the faculty of sharia wa yusuf fi fi kulliyati tijarat it is in the faculty of commerce got the idea it's easy brother salman you understood inshallah huh? sister mamuna is it clear inshallah fine okay if it is not clear ask me huh? okay man zalikal fatal ladhi fi sayyaratikum fi sayyaratikum fi harf jar sayyarati ism majrur wa huwa mudaf kum mudaf ilayhi very good huh? so brother and sister how what is the translation but abd samad what is the tal man zalik al fata fata min young fellow young man who is in your car masha who a zamili what is zamili how many words two mudaf mudafili who a mubtada zamilu khabar wa huwa mudaf and ya mutakallim 
mudafilihi. Very good, brother. Min aina huwa, from where he is. Min aina, when you see aina, before it, it comes, it will be min. Min aina, from where is he? Huwa min in kaltarra. Huwa mutada min in kaltarra. Dar majroon, shibu jumla, khabar. Very good. Masmuhu. What is his name? Ismuhu. Combination is mudaf. Mudaf ilihi. Fine. Ismuhu Williamu. Ismuhu William. His name is William. But then look at Williamu. Do you see Tanween there? No. You see single Dhamma. What does it? Diptot. Huh? Diptot. When you see single Dhamma, it is Diptot. Very good. A Muslimun huwa. Is he a Muslim? A Muslimun huwa. Is he a Muslim? Huh? La. Huwa. Nasraniyun. He is a Christian. Abuhu Ustadi. Abuhu. What kind of a combination is this? Mudaf. Mudaf. Okay. Ustadi. Mudaf. Mudaf. So where is our Muftada? Abu. And where is our Khabar? Ustaza. Ustazu. Ustazu. Okay. Ismuhu. A doctor. Edwardu. Okay. Fine, brother. What is this muhu? What kind of a combination is this? Mudaf, mudafili. Where is muftada? Ismu. Who mudaf and who mudafili. Fine, brother. Where is our khabar? A doctor. Are you with me? A doctor. Sister Arifa, what is Eduardo? A doctor. A doctoru Eduardo. What can it be? Brother. See, it is not badal. You can figure out. Uh, it is Badal Muhammad. It is Badal for Doktor. Uh, you can just straight away say Ismuhu Edwardu. Or Ismuhu a Doktor. And then Edwardu is the Badal for Doktor. MashaAllah. Okay, brother and sister. As I have tum ilal mustashfa. Did you go to the hospital? See now, their uncle is in the hospital. Huh? So he is asking, Hamid is asking them, as I have told, tell me, what kind of sentence is this? This is Jumla, failure. Huh? Where is the fail? Think properly and tell me. Where is the fail? Zahab, yes, with sukun. Huh? Where is the file? Thum. Later on, we will even analyze Thum in book three. But right now, for our ease and simplicity, we say Thum is the file. Now, azhabtum ilal mustashfa. Ilal mustashfa, brother, is jar majroor. Li ziyarati ammikum. Now, how many words are there? Li ziyarati ammikum. How many words are there, brother Salman? Four, brother. If you say two, then it will cost you two dozen samosas. Huh? It is four. So, let us start with the first word. What is the first word? Li. What is Li? Harcha. What should be next thing? Isam Majroor. So where is Isam Majroor? Ziyarati. Now there is a chain. Okay, so Ziyarati is now our Mudaf. Where is Mudaf Ilehi? Ammi. Wahua Mudaf and Kum Mudaf Ilehi. Brother, you got to understand this. Are you with me? Maybe I should write it down. Huh? Okay, Li. Zia Rati Ammi Kum. How many words? I divide it. <coughs> One, two, three, and four. We divide the words. Huh? Okay. What is this, brother? Harcha. Masha. Huh? What is the next one? Isam Majroor. Now, the effect of harf char is only to the next noun. After that, harf char doesn't do anything. Now, there's still two more nouns there. So then, this becomes Mudaf. And then this becomes Mudaf Ilehi. 
and then again it becomes mudaf and this becomes mudaf ilahi are you with me are you with me brothers and sisters salman this is very important brother brother so many people who can speak arabic many people who can speak arabic they, they miss out on these things but because we are non arabs we want to learn the language properly i just got an email from brother yusuf uh, sister suhaina nusrat they know brother yusuf uh, like brother muhammad he was our in charge of the class and he worked very hard mashallah and he's retired brother yakub i i beg your pardon i i miss him brother yakub so i got an email from brother yakub and he said he said brother asif if you had not taught us the the books that we learned here i would have been completely lost you know he said i am now enjoying my lessons because i understand what's going on and he said in my class people speak arabic but they don't know what is mafulun bi you know they don't know you know the rules of the grammar you know and he is alhamdulillah is enjoying you know and he's remembering this course alhamdulillah you know so inshallah when one of you will go abroad to middle east to learn you to do your further studies this foundation will be of immense help to you huh? immense help to you because there they may not teach you all these things because they have no time they think you should know them you know because there they are more interested that you should write sentences form sentences and then speak but then in order to form proper sentences you must have this knowledge otherwise you 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 make mistakes brother right? so inshallah you be very careful salman everything must be understood huh? inshallah uh, in jordan brother yeah mashallah is in jordan is in the university huh? okay azhab tum what was the question azhab tum what is the answer zahabna got the idea if i ask you azhab tum ila al masjid al yawm nam zahabna got the idea fine brothers and sisters now i come to explain you little more we have little time i just want to give you something brother what do you read brother what do you read on the board bismillahir rahmanir rahim what is b harf ja where is ism majrur ism ism is your ism majrur uh, and then there is a chain going the effect of b is only to of ism uh, okay so brothers and sisters i'm writing here uh, i'm writing here b brother harf ja huh now ism the hamza has been dropped because since the time of uh, hazrat uthman when the quran was you know compiled in a book form okay brother in a proper book form because there are a lot of stories that quran was already in the book form but we are not going into those details it was done in a very professional way at that time for the first time okay so that the copies could be made and distributed throughout the arab lands you know so then this is your ism majrur okay brothers and sisters now there is allah so what is allah mudaf ali so then what is this then mudaf and this is mudaf ali now brothers and sisters you tell me 
Brother Salman, tell me what is a Rahman and what is a Rahim. You tell me. Okay, if you don't tell me, says the Arifa, you tell me. What is here Allahi and what is this Ar-Rahman? It is a Naat. What is it? Why? Allahi Ar-Rahman. If it was Allahu Ar-Rahmanu. Huh? Are you with me? If it was, if it is Allah, then it will be a Rahman. But here it is Allahi. Then what is this? Rahmani. This is Naat. And what is this? A Rahimi. Another Naat. Naat number one. Naat number two. Are you with me? You. There is no room for Badal here. Huh? It is Naat. Okay. Are you with me? This is Arifa. I would like you to feel it next time. On next time, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, I'm going to write down Alhamdulillahi. And what is after that? Rabbi. Rabbi. Why Rabbi, brother? It is a naat. See, Rabbil Alami, that is combination of mudaf, mudafir. And after that, Ar Rahma, Ni, Ar Rahi, Me. These are all naat for Allah. And what is in the end? Mali. Key. Again, not. See, I'm going to write it next time for you. And you are going to analyze it, inshallah. And see, we say it all the time. But now you will understand what you are saying. See, Maliki Yawmiddin. What kind of a combinations are there? We'll do it, inshallah, tomorrow. Huh? Huh? Because we are running a little late, we'll do it tomorrow. Likewise, I will be analyzing short, short verses. Uh, just to reinforce what we are learning in the book. Inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters. So, Ajib Anil Asilatil Atiyati. Answer the following question. Questions. But the answer should be from the book. Did you all buy Hallo uh, Tamari? Some of them you have it. Because once you write your answer, you can check there. Okay. Manantum. Nahnu Abnau Nahnu Abnau Doctori Musa. Nahnu Abnau Doctori Musa. Aina Baitukum Baituna Karibun Minal Matar. Are you with me? Read the sentence and you will answer. Huh? You got to read it two, three times. Oh, ho, 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 ho. What a beautiful sentence. Man. Rabbukum. Who is your Lord? What will be your answer? No, 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 no. Rabbukum will change into Rabbuna. MashaAllah. If you can feel this, that the answer should be no. Rabbuna. Allah. So brother, what is Rabbuna? Mudaf. Mudafili. And Allah who comes afterwards. So where is our Muftada? Rabbu. Who are Mudaf. And na Mudafi. Where is the Khabar? Allah, mashallah. You are doing, mashallah, mashallah. Ma lugatukum. What is your language? You, we say Arabic. Huh? Huh? Lugatukum. So you'll say lugatuna al arbiyatu. Lugatuna al arbiyatu. Huh? Inshallah. It will make uh, uh, our you know learning easy. Inshallah. Brother, I'll tell you another story next time. I've got a lot of stories to tell you. These are the things. That I came across uh, while I was studying. And these are the most beautiful individuals who had a great impact on, on my learning and my you know, understanding. And I, they are gone, but I remember them. So I'll tell you another story next time, inshallah. Aina madrasatukum. Aina madrasatukum. Ra sa tukum. Aina madrasatukum. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Aina madrasatukum. What will you say? Madrasatuna, madrasatuna. Now here there will be a little trouble. Because you will have to say karibatun. What will you say? Why will you say karibatun? Because muptada is mohannas. Madrasatun. Madrasatu na karibatun min al-bayti. What will you say? The school is close to.
from our house. Are you with me? Fine, brother. Antum Muslimuna, what will be your answer? Nahnu. And then? Walhamdulillah. You will say, Nahnu Muslimuna, Walhamdulillah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Afi baitikum hadikatun. Afi baitikum hadikatun. What will you answer? Naam. Fi baitina. Fi baitina hadikatun. So hadikatun came late. You know, it is indefinite. The khabar came in the beginning. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Aindakum sayyaratun. Say yes. Naam. Indana sayyaratun. Aina mudarrisukum. Where is your teacher? Aina mudarrisukum. What do you want to say? Is he in the class or in the bait? Huwa fil fasli. Or huwa fil bait. Or whatever you want to say, brother. Huwa fil masjid. Fine, brother. Aantum mudarrisuna. What will you say? Aantum mudarrisuna. La. Nahnu. Or you can say Nahnu Muhandisuna. Okay? Fine, brother and sister. Ikra Waktub. Are you with me, brother and sisters? Ikra Waktub. I'll only read one sentence and this is where we'll start tomorrow, brother. Nahnu Muslimuna. Where is Mubtada? Nahnu. Where is Khabar? Muslimuna. Al Islamu Dinuna. Okay, brother and sister, dinuna, how many words? Mudaf, mudafili. So where is Mubtada? Al-Islam. Where is your khabar? Dinu. Wa huwa mudaf, and na mudafili. MashaAllah. Wallahu Rabbuna. Where is our Mubtada? Allahu. Where is our khabar? Rabbu. Wa huwa mudaf, and na mudafili. Are you with me? Muhammadun Nabiyuna. Muhammadun sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Mubtada Where is our khabar? Nabiyu And then mudaf, mudafile Al-Qur'anu Dusturuna Al-Qur'anu Dusturuna Our constitution Al-Qur'anu Dusturuna So Al-Qur'anu Brothers and sisters Al-Qur'anu Mubtada And Dosturuna, dosturu, khabar, muda, muda fili. Al kaabatu, what is al kaabatu? Huh? Mubtada. What is kaabatu? News is kiblatuna. Kiblatuna, brother. What is how many words? Two. So where is our khabar? Kiblatu. Wa huwa muda, and then muda fili. Inshallah. Wal arbiyatu, lugatuna. وَالْعَرْبِيَةُ لُغَتُنَا Are you with me? وَالْعَرْبِيَةُ لُغَتُنَا So what is لُغَتُ خَبَر وَهُوَ مُدَافْ مُدَافْ See brother, you are getting stronger. I hope you feel it in yourself that you are understanding it. This understanding is vital. When we go in advanced lessons. And this understanding will make the advanced lessons very easy for you. So go home, write these sentences, and especially uh, all of them you should analyze. What will you analyze? Nahnu Muslimuna, Al Islamu Dinuna, Wallahu Rabbuna, Muhammadun Nabiyuna, Al Quranu Dasturuna, Al Kaabatu Kiblatuna, Al Arbiatu Logatuna. Inshallah, analyze it. Huh? And we will work later on the rest of it, Inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters. And inshallah, we'll try to do many more things tomorrow. We only did 14 lessons. We've got to do one more, 15. Lesson number 16 brings a new concept. I hope you will all come and be present to understand lesson number 16. Because every time, something new will come. And this is a different kind of a concept. Not difficult. It's easy. It's simple. But one has to understand it. Inshallah. And we will inshallah tell you whether Rabbana 
آتی نہ فی دنیا حسنتا ہوں و فی الآخرتی حسنتا ہوں و کینا عذاب النار ربنا حب لنا من ازواجینا و ذریاتینا قرت آئین و اجعلنا للمتقین اماما ربنا تقبل منا انکا انتا سمی العلیم و توب علینا انکا انتا تواب رحیم سبحان ربک رب العزت اما